so you don't need to make any changes to that it might simply be the image for the sales copy and the image for the header very very cheap go off to Fiverr do that okay um, so once you've done that you're going to upload that to what they call Amazon S3 now Amazon S3 if you don't know is basically a place where business owners of all types store their files and then have those files transferred from the secure Amazon servers just as simple as that they are super computers super fast in the cloud that have locations all across the globe that are able to transfer files from the local place closest to that person and zip them down at super fast speed it is very secure because it's not being hosted on your website or your blog that can be broken into that can be abused um, so it's definitely the way that you must go you simply create an Amazon S3 account by going to Amazon typing in the word S3 and signing up and going through their process if you already have an Amazon account boom you're already up and running basically the way this system works is you store as many files as you possibly want onto Amazon for free every time someone downloads that file that PDF report that video whatever it is that you're hosting here whenever you put that out on a page and someone clicks that that time between the click for them to download it you pay for that but I gotta tell you it is tiny 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 amounts of money literally tiny amounts of money to have things downloaded it's the best and the secure way of doing that and you can see with mine here that some of these have got the keyword A-U-T-H in front of that you can actually see that properly there um, but I'll go into that later on in the course because it's a way of securing it but basically all you do is you create a bucket which is like a folder and that folder is where you store that product and then once you're in that product let that load up you end up with a file in that bucket okay you can see it says authentic that's what the AUTH stands for WBMC which is the web business masterclass We've got upsell and promo so that is the file inside the folder which they call a bucket and there it is right there and this is a video so once you've got this up there you're going to be able to have a code for that let me click that for you and that's going to give us a link and that's the link you can see here okay you then take that link you simply copy that link address and that is what you put on the welcome page or the thank you page or the download page whichever you call yours inside your website okay so now we're starting to get somewhere so you need to make sure that you've got an S3 account set up and you need to make sure that that file is in place so boom we've done the first bit we've created the report or we've got the report because we bought a PLR and then we've uploaded that to Amazon S3 boom now we can move on okay so now we need to create the free gift page okay this is where they land on your website once they've hit your lead capture once that bits done and they're gonna land inside your website and they're gonna to want to see two things one the capture and we'll go into my website now and take a look at one of them and one where they can go and grab that product so let's just take a quick look okay so I'm inside my blog at the web business masterclass um, we like to use this website as, as a case study because this is a very 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 popular blog and I'm sure you know by now that hiding behind the scenes of this simple content blog is a full-blown membership site in fact you should already be a member of the web business masterclass okay so let me give you some examples let's just quickly remind myself okay we're gonna create the free gift page so we've got to add the content and we've got to add the auto responder code so let me show you some examples of that so this is a squeeze capture 
Okay, a very, very simple squeeze capture and is the ones that seem to perform really, really well for most people. We don't really have time to get into the analysis and why your page should be laid out a certain way. That's something you kind of need to work out as you go along. You need to know your niche, you need to start to understand that kind of stuff. Okay, but we're looking for the fact that this is a lead capture. Now this is using opt-in links um, and you've probably heard me talk about opt-in links. It's just a little bit different to the way you normally see a squeeze capture. But what we're looking for here is simply a headline, a subheadline, which is an introduction, which is me as the free access to a secret report, and then a little bit about what that is, and an image or a video always good to attract people. That could simply be an image of you. It would be an image of your product, if that's what you want it to be, or your free report, whatever it is. In this case, what they do is they simply click that, because they're going to get access, and boom, a pop-up appears before their very eyes. Okay, and they simply add their details, and away they go. Here's an example of the thank you page, the page they land on, once they've gone through your lead capture, they've added their details, they click that button, then they need to land somewhere to get that report. And I said that there are two ways for you to do this. You can put it on the same page as the product that you're promoting, like I've done here, and I'll show you that example. Or you simply have it where there is a page before they get access to this file, and that page would simply be the content that I've got written below there. So imagine that file wasn't there. Okay, That's what you would see. So that would be your thank you page, your download page in essence as far as the view is concerned. So they would add their details to the lead capture, they would click that button and they would land here. Boom! And see this. Okay, Your front end product. Straight into that product. And then if they didn't want to buy this, they would simply have a link underneath, right at the bottom, that would say, no thank you, please take me to my free gift. Okay, And they would be able to click that link. As you can see, in my case, I'm giving them instant access to what I said they could have straight away. And then I'm saying, oh, while you're here, by the way, why don't you take a little look at this? Why don't you see what I have here for you and see if you're interested? If they're not interested? Hey. They won't take action. They'll grab their free gift and away they go. I then will follow up with my autoresponder, which we'll go to next. Hey, hi, John. How did you get on with the report that I gave you? Um, did you understand it? Blah, blah, blah. Start to talk about that. Start to get relaxed with the person. Start to give them a bit more of your who you are, your skill. And then say, I noticed that you didn't take me up on my offer of the opportunity to get on my training course or my membership site or whatever it is and then you start to follow up that sequence okay so there is two examples there of a capture and an example of a download page a thank you page okay another example here very very simple example again this is a squeeze capture nine shockingly simple blog post ideas no image here this time just a little bit of a subheadline, the free report, a little bit of content so they understand what that is, a little bit of an incentive saying there's no waiting for confirmation, they're just going to get it straight away, and then they're going to add their details, they're going to click that button, and instantly, once they've added those details, they're going to land here on this simple download page, and this time this is a download page, but we still are promoting. Okay, this is an example for you to do a softer approach or for you to a promote an affiliate product straight off this. So they come here, they download their product, and then I've got, you may also be very interested in this, and a big, big blue banner. Now, in this case, this is to promote the Web Business Masterclass, okay, for them to go in there, and I'm instantly hitting them with my front-end product. Some people will take up on their offer, some people won't. We then do the same thing with the follow-up. We say, hey, John, I hope you've enjoyed your report that I gave you. I noticed that you didn't take action on the big discount that I offered you to join my membership site. Okay, And you follow up and you follow that sequence. Underneath that, what I've done is made another attempt to attract their eyes. Those people that don't click this might click this. Those people that click this 
might still click this. So I'm giving myself an option and I'm giving the viewer an option to go elsewhere to learn something else. And in this case, this is an affiliate product. So I'm promoting myself and an affiliate product and giving access to the product right there and then all on the same page. Taking no risks. Okay, very, very simple for you to set up. That's all you need to do is something as simple as that. Okay, so now we have the free product. We have the page where we're going to promote that free product. We know that we have that file stored on S3 where they can grab it. And I'll talk more about this little box that I've got here in a moment. We have the capture in place to initially get them in. We've taken another step. Okay, so create the free gift page, check, add the content, check, add the autoresponder code, check. You've done that very, very simply. Now we need to think about going off to the uh, autoresponder and take a look at that. Now, again, I've taken you inside mine. This is called Get Response. I've used Aweber and I've used Get Response, and we could talk all day about why I was why I swapped over. Um, if you're interested, maybe we can do that in a video later on. But what we're really interested in is the fact that you need to have an autoresponder in place. And in order to get that autoresponder onto this page, we need to create that. We need to make sure that we create that inside our autoresponder. And it's called a web form in this case. And you can see that on the left hand side here you can see some of the web forms that I've created here and you can see that there there's that nine blog post ideas okay for the one we just took a look at so if I simply go here and click on edit you then see that same image being made up there okay that's the one that you see there very very simple you come in here and you create your own form in any way that you feel is right. There's loads and loads of stuff to do. I'm not going to talk about that now. I'm not here to talk about get response. I'm just here to, for you to understand that you have to have this. And what happens once you've done that, it's basically, let's go to publish. There are some settings you need to put in place, but I basically grab that code that you see there. When I drop that code onto this page, boom, it creates that lead capture for you there. And you can make that look as attractive as you want, as short as you want, as big as you want. Again, your niche will decide that, and your testing will decide that. Once you've created that list, okay, that web form, then you need to go in and you need to create the messages. Okay, you need to create the autoresponder. That's where you go in, and the first one will say, Hey, John, thank you very much. I'm glad you took the time to trust me and download my free report. I think you're going to have a great time there. I think you're going to love the report. You know, blah, blah, blah. If you didn't get the report, please click here right now and get that report. Okay, you will always follow up with that early welcome because you want these people to go back and land on this page again. You want to be absolutely sure that you gave this person the opportunity to get this report. Okay, so you can promote your front-end product. Not everybody that signs up for a product is going to go straight back and read that product or is going to go straight back and take a look at that product, especially the opportunity seekers. They may do four or five of these a day. They may do more. So you need to make sure that you're back inside their face with your email marketing, your sequence, and get them back to that page. Okay, that's important. So now we understand that we've brought in the email. We understand that the work is done from our S3. Let me show you why I write the word authentic, why you see authentic. Let me just quickly show this to you. So you are going to allow people to land on a page inside your website and you're going to allow them to download something. That something that you've allowed them to download is going to be streamed from your S3 account and that's going to cost you an amount of money. Let's imagine this one, for example, 619.13 kilobytes. That would probably cost two or three cents for that to come down. 
It's not a great deal of money, especially if you're getting that person to take action and spend $27 with you. Okay, that's a risk that you take in business. Okay, if you don't take that risk, you never know if you're going to make it. But here lies the problem. If people are grabbing this, they're grabbing this link that you've got, and they're taking that onto Black Hat forums or whatever they want on their websites, and they're saying to people, hey, grab this report called Nine Blog Secrets. Every time they do that, you're going to be charged money for that. Because it's going to be your link and it's going to be streamed from your Amazon account. So in actual fact, there are people getting access to something that they shouldn't have because they've not signed up for it, because someone's given them that, and then it's costing you money. So when you see me with this box here and me mention the word authenticated, I have a plugin in place, a script, that allows me to protect my links. So it's impossible it's impossible to grab this. You can't grab this link. Okay, You can't click on this link <clears throat> and have it take you to a URL. It doesn't do that. It's coded. And every time someone uses this or someone hits the page, it changes again. So if you downloaded this now and then refresh the page, the next time you try and grab it, it would be a completely different code and you wouldn't have a page in place there. Okay, So it's very, very secure. And that's a decision that you also have to make inside your sales funnel. The other way to protect yourself would be to have it inside your membership site. But again, that's not for me to discuss here. We're trying to focus on getting this in place first. You could, of course, protect this page and have a password protected. But again, someone could pick up that password and pass it on to all his friends and they wouldn't have gone through your sales funnel. They wouldn't have joined your list. So they would have had your product for free and they would have had it for free and that would have cost you money because you were streaming it. Okay, so we have those elements all in place. And that starts to get a little bit scary, doesn't it? Now you know you need to protect that, make sure that's in place. You cannot do this from your website, I promise you. If you try and do this from your website and you drive a lot of traffic, you will start to suffer. So, the welcome message, promote your front end and the follow-up emails. Well, we know that we've done part of that because we are promoting the front end there and because we are promoting the front end there now we need to know about how we do the follow-up sequences and that again is the autoresponders that you've got there you're simply going to go in and create an autoresponder that you can see there and that is going to be set out and you can do that by the day by the week specific times specific days but you are in essence going to make sure that the two people the two types of people that came through your sales funnel, they are people that you are going to serve better. Okay, That's the follow-up email. So you're going to make sure that the people who said no to that front-end product, they said, uh-uh, don't want that. You're going to make sure that you go back and find out why. Ask them why. Write your emails. Tell them, hey, look, you didn't get this. You need to get this. It's important that you get this. It's important that you get this front-end product. Okay, so you've done it. You've done the first four boxes. Okay, you've done your lead capture. All the hard work has been done. We can lock this down and we can move on to the front end product. Now we've got promote the affiliate product. Okay, now I've got that again if you don't have your own product in place, like I did. Okay. So you need to locate that product if it's a PLR. Okay, then you need to create the download page add the free report and add the front end offer. Well you've seen me do that with these here. Okay. What we also need to do is that they buy that front end product if they decide to click this button here. Boom! They're going to go off to PayPal. Once they've cleared PayPal and paid their money and become another one of your customers, yay hey hey, life is sweet, we then need to create a page where they're going to be able to download whatever it is that you've sold, whether it's a single product or whether it's part of your membership site. You need to create that page. You need to make sure those products are in, pay, in place and I'm going to show you an example of that now inside my site. 